Good day. So, yung lesson natin ngayon ay square root functions. Yung gusto natin matutunan ngayon ay una, ita-define natin kung ano ang square root function or uh, half parabola function. And then, we will identify yung vertex, yung domain, tsaka yung range nitong square root or half parabola function na ito. Let's start. So, define muna natin yung tatawagin natin parent square root function. This would be y equals square root of x or f of x equals square root of x. Sa pagkakaalam natin sa square root, yung nasa loob ng square root symbol, yung tinatawag nating radicand, kailangan lagi siyang positive para magkaroon tayo ng real value na square root ng number na yun. Pangalawa, meron tayong tinatawag na principal square root na pag square root of something, understood natin na positive yun. So, positive yun nasa loob, positive din yung pinakalabas niya. In that case, yung domain and range ng function natin na ito ay ganito. Yung domain niya is x is a real number such that x greater than or equal to 0. Tapos yung range naman natin, ganun din, y is a real number such that y is greater than or equal to 0. Just to express no, na kailangan positive palagi yung nasa loob ng square root symbol, yung radicand, and yung kabuuan ng square root, positive din siya. Now, if we are to plot, the graph of the square root function, pwede natin i-plot siya ng point by point. So, we could start with 0, 0, 1, 1, 4, 2, and 9, 3, which is what we did in this, in this graph. So, we could see the plots here. But we should know din naman, no, na we could also use uh, graphing software and yung result ng graph natin is yung green one. And this is the graph of the parent square root function. And if we compare no, yung graph ng y equals square root of x with y squared equals square root of x, yung y squared equals square root of x, this will actually give us a parabola na nag-open sa right at naka-vertex sa origin. So, when we plot the graph of y equals square root of x, parang pinaplot lang natin yung positive na part ng half parabola na to. So, we could also call the graph of y equals square root of x as a half parabola. And we could use the terminologies that we use in parabolas to refer to it. Like, let's say we could say that this half parabola opens right. Kahit hindi naman talaga siya nag open right, wala naman siyang enclosure. But in reference dun sa pinanggagalingan niyang parabola, we could say that it opens right. And at the same time, Yung point which serves as the vertex of the parabola, yun na rin yung itatawag nating vertex dito sa square root or half parabola function natin. So, ito. Tatawagin na rin natin itong vertex ng ating function. Now, let's do some operations dun sa square root function natin. Siguro, by now, dapat familiar na tayo dun sa idea na pag yung x, pinalitan natin ng x minus h, may translation na nangyayari dun sa graph ng function natin. In this case, pareho yung magiging behavior. It will translate our parent function h units to the right. So here, ang parent function natin yung green. And then, pinlot natin yung y equals square root of x minus h, where h is, well, I just put some random values sa slider, let's say 3.2. So the vertex will shift from 0 papuntang 3.2. Now, all the points... In our half parabola, in our graph, will shift h units to the right. So, pinakiginamitan ko lang nito to emphasize na yung pag-translate niya ay pare-pareho kasi kung gagamitin lang natin yung mata natin, it might seem, uy, mas malapit na sila dito. But the actual horizontal distance remains the same. And here, pinapakita lang dito na yung vertex yung nag-move. So, meron tayong vertex observer. Si Stink Badger. Now, sabi natin, plotting y equals square root of x minus h will translate the parent function h units to the right. So, kung negative yung h natin, well, ang translation ng negative units to the right will be positive units to the left. So, it will essentially translate the whole graph to the left kung negative yung h natin. So, here our h is negative 2.1, so we could watch the vertex ating badger na vertex watcher, nakita niya na nag-move yung vertex 2.1 units to the left. All the corresponding points will move 2.1 units to the left kasi h is negative. So, kung h units to the right, 
to the left yung actual direction nung, nung point kasi negative siya. Let's modify the function a bit. Now, let's plot y equals square root of x minus h plus k. So, kung babalikan natin yung ginawa natin sa rational functions, sa polynomial functions, yung pag-add ng k dun sa buong function natin will just translate your graph k units upward. So, if it's a combination of h and k, it will translate our parent function h units to the right and then k units upward. So, here, h is negative 2.1 and k is 1.5. So, my translation time negative 2.1 to the left kasi negative yung h and 1.5 units upwards kasi positive si k. So, if k is negative, ang translation natin pababa. So, here is our badger watching the vertex just to make sure na nasa tamang lugar siya. And here, we have a negative k to demonstrate. So, h is positive 3.2. So, this is our vertex. Nag-move siya 3.2 units sa punta dito. And then, nag-move siya k units upward, but k is negative 1. So, it's 1 unit downward. And there's our badger watching the vertex, making sure nasa tamang lugar siya. And you can say that the vertex of this graph will be given by hk. Again, the vertex of y equals square root of x minus h plus k will be given by hk. Kaya lat, lagi natin ginagamit yung hk kasi lagi siya nag refer to a special point in our graphs. So in parabolas and in half parabolas, this would be the vertex. Reflection naman. And we'll do something similar na ginawa natin dun sa mga previous functions natin. Start tayo dun sa function na alam natin yung vertex. f of x equals square root of x minus h plus k1. Yung vertex niya, nasa h, k1. So this is our, yung green. Sa green tayo titingin. Yung green na function natin, ang vertex niya ay h, k1. Sorry, dapat may 1 dito. Ito yung equation niya. If we plot g of x as negative of f of x, so if we flip natin ang sign lahat ng y coordinates ng function na yun, Nakita na natin from previous experience no, na ang description natin dun sa mga yare ay isang mirror reflection na ang mirror axis ay yung x-axis. So we will flip our function along the x-axis to give us the blue graph that is g of x, yung negative nung green na graph. So here's our vertex watcher, making sure that the vertex is in the correct position. And the vertex of the blue function is now h negative k sub 1. Kasi nag-negative yung y values eh. So we'll just let our k be equal to negative k sub 1. Kasi yun yung bagong vertex at yung k gusto natin siyang gamitin sa vertices. So we could rewrite now our function na g of x. This is equal to negative square root of x minus h minus k sub 1. Or, kung gagamitin natin to substitution na to, this will be negative square root of x minus h plus k. So, ano yung properties nitong function na to? Well, yung vertex niya is still at h and k. Ganun pa din yung format. Naka-add pa rin yung k sa dulo. But kung negative yung square root na term, it's no longer the upper half of the parabola. It's the lower half na na parabola. Pag negative yung square root na term. And the vertex of this function will remain sa hk. Kaya natin ginawa yung substitution na ito. Now, yung function natin, yung h naman yung gawin nating special. Let f of x be equal to square root of x minus h sub 1 plus k. So, yung vertex niya ay h sub 1 and k. This is our green na graph, h sub 1 and k. As you can see siguro from the image ko ano yung gusto natin gawin, gusto natin siyang i-reflect along the y-axis. And we know from previous experience that reflecting along the y-axis will be as simple as replacing x with negative x. So f of negative x, yun yung itatawag natin kay g of x. So ano yung nun? Papalitan lang natin lahat ng x dun sa function with negative x. So it will be square root of negative x minus h sub 1 plus k. This will be a reflection along the y-axis. So hindi na niya mapanood yung vertex kasi lalabas na siya dun sa frame. But it's now sitting on the reflection. So from this vertex, pupunta siya dito. All the corresponding points will find themselves on the other side of our mirror reflection axis, which is the y axis. Now, yung vertex nitong blue na graph na to ay negative h sub 1 and k. That makes sense. Kasi ginawa natin negative lahat ng x-coordinates. Eh. 
So, i-assign natin ngayon yung h as negative h sub 1 para mag-correspond dun sa x-coordinate ng vertex natin. And now, we can rewrite this as g of x equal to square root of negative x plus h plus k. Bakit natin ito gustong gawin? Kasi gusto natin makuha yung form, no? Na x minus h, tapos may plus k sa dulo. Factoring out yung negative sign, we'll have square root of negative of the quantity x minus h plus k. Yung form na x minus h, tapos may k sa dulo, na preserve natin, so that ma-identify natin, pag yung radicand ay negative of the quantity x minus h, this will be a half parabola that opens to the left. Parang nag-flip kasi siya. So now, we could describe, pag nakita natin na negative to, a parabola that opens to the left. And we did the substitution so that the vertex is preserved. Dun sa standard coordinates natin na hk. So let's just look at the domain and range of square root functions. And naturally, this will be determined nung location nung vertex and whether it opens to the left, it opens to the right, or if it's the upper half of the parabola or the lower half. In this case, we have the upper half of a parabola that opens to the right. So the domain will be all the values of x from the x-coordinate of the vertex and everything to the right of that value. So it's the interval h-inclusive to positive infinity. Yung range naman natin, again, vertex yung reference point, and everything papataas. So our range will be k, which is the y-coordinate of the vertex, all the way up to positive infinity. So we could read the domain as x greater than or equal to h, and the range as y is greater than or equal to k. Now, if our Square root function is a half parabola na lower half naman. So how will that affect the domain in range? Well, the domain should not change kasi it's still from the vertex to the right. It's still x is greater than or equal to h. But our range is now from the vertex pababa or more accurately from negative infinity all the way to the vertex or the y-coordinate of the vertex. So our range is the interval from negative infinity all the way to k inclusive. Another way of writing this is y is less than or equal to k. So now we have a parabola that opens to the left and it's the upper half. So I guess siguro madali na to. Ang domain natin ay from negative infinity all the way to the vertex or the interval negative infinity to h inclusive. Pwede rin natin siyang isulat na x is less than or equal to h. Yung range natin ay from k papataas or the interval k to positive infinity inclusive of k. Pwede rin natin siyang isulat na y is greater than or equal to k. And last case, if it's the lower half of, of a parabola that opens to the left, then our domain is from negative infinity all the way to h, the x-coordinate, the vertex. Ang range natin ay negative infinity all the way to k, which is the y-coordinate of the vertex. We could write the domain as y is less than or equal to h, and we could write the range as y is less than or equal to k. And that's it. To recap yung ginawa natin ngayon, yung squared function is ganito yung form, f of x equals a times square root of b times x minus h plus k. So if a is positive, then that is the upper half of the parabola. If it is negative, then that is the lower half. Hindi na natin pinakita, no, pag hindi, kung hindi equal to 1 or negative 1 yung a. But that's just a scaling transformation, and you could show that naman in a graphing software. So I'm skipping that and maybe give it as an exercise for, for you. Doon naman tayo sa b, yung coefficient sa loob. If b is positive, then our half parabola opens, right? But if it's negative, it opens to the left. And that's it. Thank you very much, and I'll see you sa next lesson natin. Have a nice day.